This episode contains descriptions of sexual assault and sexual violence. For anonymous, confidential help, 24-7, please call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233 or go to thehotline.org. Welcome to the bad boy pod, talking bad boy bars, make a good girl nuts with the bad boy swag. Having conversations that a bad boy mad, sit down, relax, kick back, have a blast, enjoy the bad boy pod, brought to you by Lady Pods. Mm. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry in the testicle. Mm. Damn, he really kicked the bucket, huh? I miss him. I miss him so much. Who would hate 2024? Oh, I mean, who wouldn't? I hate 2024. Ugh, so he hates it most of all. So far, not so good. So far, not so good. Ooh, that reminds me. I should write down my bad boy and good boy before I forget. Wow. Oh, but it just came to you? <laughs> I mean, as I, if in a dream? I re-remembered when, as if in a dream. I re-remembered when um, I was like on the toilet that I should remember my bad boy and good boy. And I was like, you got to write those down, Yeah, yeah girl. Yeah. I always remember things when I'm on the toilet. Yes, that's the only time I can actually think. Or in the shower or right before bed or at two in the morning. Mm -hmm. Although two in the morning is when I get my best anxiety done. Is that when you finally wake up from your coma? (laughs) (laughs) My daily coma? Your daily coma at 2 a.m. Yeah, I wake up from my (gasps) daily coma at 2 2 a.m. I'm like, oh God, everyone's going to die. And then I'm awake for like two hours and then I go back to sleep. Okay, it's not so bad. Have you enjoyed being an early riser? Oh, honestly? Yeah. I know early you Fran, texted me at early six, Fran Abedis today at six thirty in the morning today or yesterday. What was it that early? No, it was today. It's funny because I do actually remember having a thought like, "Oh fuck, wow, I'm a bit, I'm a bit Zoe right now." Yeah, and I was always going to see this when she wakes up. I, I, and I did. It, it was, was like ten minutes later, but I did see it. <laughs> It was, wow, it was up only a nay 10 minutes before no, Zoe. Was, I got up at like seven today. That's crazy. It's practically midnight. It was kind of nice. I forget that it's so quiet. It's quiet. I'm like, oh, here I am. You have like a whole day ahead of you. It's a whole fucking day. You can either have a little snooze on the couch, okay. which sometimes I do. Oh, you go Sometimes back, I you, go back to snoozing. Sometimes re-rack? I don't. Yeah. It's my favorite time to watch a show. Yeah, actually, it's really nice. Because if you watch an hour-long show starting at 7 a.m., it basically didn't happen. <laughs> After that, exactly. And then by the time it's over, it's 8 a.m., and you're like, still no one's awake. Still no one's awake. I guess I can start my day, and it's still earlier than everyone else. So I'm better than everyone. I'm better and than And I, I got to watch like a home reno show. It's fun. My dream come true. I kind of get it. It's like kind of nice to be up up and Adam. Up and Adam at like six. But like, yeah, I pushed the shot back to six. six. I think it was like... Six is early. I, it is early, but like it has to be 12 hours. I'm usually awake at 6.30, out of bed by 7.15. It is nice to have a nap in the middle of my day. Oh, fuck. I'm going to nap so good when you leave because... It, it's hey, a, I hate to mention the atmospheric spoiler, river. But it's here. But it's here. And She's, we're, we're under it. We're on, What? I don't know. I think we're about to be. Yeah, I think it's more of an atmospheric trickle at the moment. But yeah, it's a it's, hard trick. It's more of an atmospheric puddle. Mm, um, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> but the rivers, the rivers are coming. I mean, this is a good time for me. Yeah, I'm getting my period. Oh, so it feels kind of like very natural for the me. The atmospheric river is coming from within. My name is absolutely Diane. It's like I'm still very lucky to have such a light period, but it's because of my IUD. That's it. That's Perfect. literally it. That's all. Um, I'm so glad to hear it. Uh, Diane's so favorite natural disaster? Huh? Your period. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't one. know. What do you think? Really good one. Um, she loves a tsunami. She's a like, tsunami. wow, that sounds exotic. Um, I, I like the thought of a tornado. The thought of one. But I think actually being in one would be a little scary. <laughs> Glancing up to a funnel? <laughs> Not interested. <laughs> I'm not crazy about roller coasters, so I don't know if I would love to be in a tornado. Mm. Um, but I also don't like the log Ooh. flume, so I don't think I would like a uh, tsunami either. It's like anything that fucks with my hair. Bad. So I'm going to go with earthquake. Let's talk about a disaster. Well, then you're in the right spot, baby. I'm in the right spot for one. Um, I'm that not. Like a... I, you know what? I just am willing the big one to happen in Northern California. I guess. I mean, you think it's going to happen there? No. Earthquake talk. Earthquake talk? No. <laughs> but knowing me, I wouldn't even feel the big one. Like the house would be collapsing from around me and I'd be like, I didn't feel it. Exactly. <laughs> and I feel left out now because I don't feel any of them. And I'm like, I'm sorry, are we too sturdy? But then I, 
I did a deep dive again. I love getting these earthquake deep dives. And I'm okay. like, hmm. Do you follow LA QuakeBot on Twitter? Yeah, it's not that fun though. I know. I mean, I don't really get, oh, maybe I should just get auto updates from them. Well, hmm. they're all like 1.1 magnitude earthquake and freaking Whittier. And I'm like, well, no one feels that. That's so boring. That's not even a real magnitude. Yeah. I mean, just like, just tell me if it's an earth shaker. I know. Or like a wiggly. A wiggly I need it to be, or an earth shaker. I need it to just be a little bit more descriptive. Like, is it like a truck hit the house or is it like I'm surf it? Like, is it like a wiggle wiggle? They should have fun new terms. It's 2024. We should be able to call earthquakes fun new things like a wiggle, wiggle master. A wiggle master. Or a, a real shaker. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Shakerama. Um, or like. A rumble in the jungle. Oh. Uh oh. Speaking of our. A small uh, giggle puss. Oh, right? God. Yeah, I think that's what they did. I think, I think they what, did that. Don't they say that? Well, in that video that I sent you, I yeah. don't know if you watched the entirety of it. I did not watch the entirety. Of words. Um, I literally... I maybe watched, watched like it. four minutes of it. It's, that's at least half of it. That's I a saw lot. through our new drop and I was like, I think I get it. Well, so you guys will really enjoy this that I'll eventually put somewhere in the slime. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can put a chunk of it in the slime. <clears throat> oh, yeah, good point. Um, truly, our bad boy is a real storyteller. Oh my god! If anything, I know. Like in a, he could have been a regular Doctor Seuss, but instead he had to go ahead and be a pervert. Um, let's see how this testicle is. <laughs> wow, I'm actually making sure I follow La Quakebot. Wow, you were dishonest in the testicle. I mean, for a second, I was like, "What if I am? What if I'm a piece of shit that's lying right now?" It would be deeply upsetting, not only to me but to the fans. Do you think La Quakebot left uh, Twitter when it all went downhill? No. Because I still follow LA QuakeBot, and they're always reporting on 1.1 magnitude earthquakes in Whittier. Oh my god, I don't follow them. What a piece of shit I am. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, notifications on. My second favorite thing that's sort of like that is um, on Cape Cod, there's like a great white shark tracking app called Sharktivity. What? Oh, wait, I've heard about that. That's kind of cool. And I sometimes check on it just to see what the sharks are up to in Massachusetts. That is where they are, isn't it? Um, yep. They're very active over there. I watched an entire documentary about the sharks on Cape Cod. Wait, did we watch the same doc? Cod doc? Was doc it a bit cod? of a cod doc? And it was like, there's like the island of seals. Oh my God. Wait, maybe we did watch the same doc. <laughs> now I forget. It was TV a talk. mediocre doc and it was on HBO. Probably. Um, but sharks oh, are cool. Oh, wait, was it about... Um... It's just about the Gosh, sharks. I've watched, Cape- unfortunately, a few shark docs and not even be, like related to like Shark Week or anything. I don't know what I'm saying, unfortunately. <laughs> it was just about the sharks on Cape Cod and why there was an increase. Hey. Email Diane. I watched one about like um, the shark exploitation <laughs> in film. There was oh a my. Recent shark exploitation in film. Yeah, it's really sad, actually. My name is Julia Davidovich. Sorry, and- everybody. When it comes to shark flotation in film, vehemently against. Oh, and my name is Zoe Clark, and like, I may be a vegetarian. Yep. But I'm actually for it. <laughs> I, I actually may be like a vegetarian, shark but exploitation. I think sharks should be in captivity. No. And no. And she likes shark fin soup. No. no stop it. Stop, stop eating it. Why would you say that? Don't um, eat that. Why would anybody eat shark fin soup? Guys. Hey. Guys, guys, hey, guys, guys. I don't hey, know. Is that, ra- is that rude to even say? Am I like, am I saying that and that's like integral to somebody's um, culture? M- culture or cultural meal? I would feel I terrible. Don't... But at the same time, I don't know. If I looked at a shark fin, I wouldn't be like, that's the part of the shark I want to eat. feels like there's more shark there. There, There's more, there are more, I feel like, fatty areas of a shark that would be better to eat. I'm no shark expert. I'm no shark expert, but like, give me that fatty. there's more meat there. Give me that fatty, fatty shark. Just kidding. Um, Um, I mean, I'm not. I don't want shark. I don't, I don't even eat seafood. Me neither. But I wouldn't eat a shark. I mean, like, like I'm trying to be... Of all the sea creatures I'd be interested in eating, sure, I'm not really interested in any of them. I'm I not look at them and I'm like, shark. Hmm. I mean, no mammals. I don't want whale. <laughs> uh, I don't want manatee. No, too cute. <laughs> but on the other side of things, I don't necessarily want octopus. And people eat octopus. I'm sure people are raring to eat dolphin. Oh, yeah, they're like it's smart, so I want to eat it. You know what I mean? Ooh, like probably. humans are sick in the head. Humans are so weird. We're well, disgusting. We're absolutely repulsive people, and that is just. That's our way. That's our way. Um, and when it comes to aliens. Oh, God. I'd eat them. Definitely. I, I may want, be vegetarian. I want, <laughs> I may be vegetarian, aliens, but I'd eat an alien. I'd eat an alien burger any day of the week. It's basically another, 
it's not even meat. It's, it's not. Well, it's well, may, it's may just be goo. We didn't even. It know. could be meat. It could be goo. Did you guys have like sentient um, goo? Ooh, Ooh. Did, I'll put that in the slimer. Okay. What I'm thinking about. It was like oh. this goo that we used to just eat as a child. It would come in a tube. Dumb thing. It, I don't remember what it was called. It was it like candy? A, yeah, it came in a tube, and there were three flavors. It looked like toothpaste. Yeah, kind of, but not really. It was like see-through, transparent um, goo. It came in red, blue, or green. green. I remember this, but I'm like, am I making it up? In but like, my head? why did I love it so much? Oh, I love it. Because it's just sugar, probably. I mean, we definitely had those wax bottles. Oh, those, those were disgusting. Good. Those were more- <laughs> so good at the same time. Fun dip. Did you have that? Oh, of course. Oh, fun dip. Can I say something controversial? Please. I liked the stick better than the dip. You're right. It was actually better. Oh, that here stick? it is. Ooze tube. Ooze tube? Is that what it's called? Well, I have no memory of what this was actually called, just buying the actual tube. I was sick, but Show like, me, uh, oh, I'll put it in the slimmer, guys. Oh, it kind of looks like a lip gloss. Kind of, but it was like enormous. I vaguely remember those. Ooze I think we had tube. Wow, I think wait. we had those. Is it really just $9 for all three? Mama's going to buy them. No, you're not. Watermelon, strawberry, or blue raspberry? Blue Mama's raspberry is tube. such is so nineties. I'm gonna give this to Fran when he's having a <laughs> diabetes a hypo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I would never do that. Blue raspberry, mm. most nineties flavor out of all of them. What is blue raspberry? It's like the pink lemonade of raspberry. Is it real? <laughs> oh, I feel like an idiot for not knowing this, but like, is blue raspberry just? I don't an know, but I can, I can taste it by Big Candy. I feel like blue raspberry is an invention by Big Candy, and if I'm thinking about it hard enough, I think it's just like strawberry and grape. There was something about the '90s and possibly the '80s too, I guess. Yeah, I guess about having a blue, white, and red. Oh, so American, but also in Canada, flavoring trio that like. I guess it's like lemonade. Like, what is the white flavor? Sugar, lemonade, depending on what it is. The white flavor was delish. Yeah, the white flavor is lemonade. Pure You're sugar. Right. You're right. So good. I mean, when I'm thinking, what I'm thinking of is like the rocket pop. Yes. That, yes. That's definitely lemonade. So lemonade, good. cherry, and blue raspberry. Blue raspberry, like where? Blue raspberry. Just came out of nowhere, <laughs> stole all <laughs> of our like, fucking hearts. They were like, we need a blue. Blueberry? No. no. Too subtle. Like, we're going to get raspberries in children somehow. What if we made raspberries blue? Yeah. It's, then they'll eat them. But it doesn't taste like a raspberry. It's more, What's so lame about a raspberry that a child wouldn't eat a fucking grape. regular raspberry? It's more grape than raspberry. It's part of the weird flavored, ke- or no, colored ketchup craze. That was, don't even talk to me about I know. this. You hate, you don't even eat ketchup, but like, imagine purple ketchup. You would totally barf. I would totally barf. I Thinking ate it up. It right now. I, I fucking totally ate barf. it up and down. I know you would. They really had them at hot dog stands everywhere, too, just like it was so normal, but it was such a like a novelty to put green ketchup on your shit. Hey, it's, if you're listening, green ketchup, not normal. Not normal. Get out not of here. Not normal. Don't come back. Yak the yak? Don't come back. Please. Please, green ketchup. Back. My name is Diane. Okay, mine Do too. Do not come back. Um, Who is your bad boy upon the block? <laughs> we got our sweet little rental raise. Oh, because yeah. the city, the city, the city, the city did the city say was like, hey, guys, we're finally going to approve even more in rental raise and allowance yeah. or whatever. So then everyone it went everyone, from three percent to four percent. I think so. I actually don't remember what it was last. I forget. It's been a while. Yeah. Um. But yeah, but they were I mean, quote unquote, they were quote unquote good during the pandemic where they didn't raise anyone's rent. Yeah, that was like nice, but we're still in a pandemic and the, no one has a job right now. It's so fucking Like stupid. literally every single person I know has gotten laid off. So like, what are you doing, lady? I don't get it. By lady, I mean government. Land, land association. I mean, it it is horrendous that like landlords really just lord the land that's all they, they do literally lord the land and they're like hey, it's more expensive now they lord, lord the, the land, land and they also lord the government why don't you go lord the government they lord the government and then they also lord all over the fucking floor <laughs> i really hate it they're annoying i mean whatever i'm just gonna be a little more demanding and annoying what yeah. do you do kick me out you, can't. Uh, you, really can't you literally can't for asking for as things. you should be yeah, it's just, I'm just going to be even more annoying. Sorry, but now you've made no, another natural don't apologize enemy. for being annoying. They're annoying. Oh, no, it's, a, it's, not, a, it's not an actual sorry. They're, I know, it's like, sorry, but like, sorry, but I'm gonna be they annoying. should be sorry. Yeah. Sorry you decided that it was a good idea to raise our collective rent after not having our collective lights on for 12 days. Yeah, collective Someone lights. got injured. 
Really? Yeah. Somebody got a boo-boo? Someone boo-booed down the stairs or up the stairs. <laughs> no. Literally. And like, I I'd bet our lobby ass. is going to flood during this. Oh, for sure. So, I mean, it's like, it's I mean, so classic. Small claims court. You know I what I mean? can't. Ugh. I've got complaints out the ass. So. Yeah, everything is going to flood. It's going to be a nightmare. Well, the atmosphere- gonna be a night. I'm going to be the nightmare. Atmospheric River was bad last year, too. But it, it flooded. Did your apartment flood last year during the Atmospheric oh, River? No, we didn't. But like, we don't let it get to the apartment because we literally can watch it rise. But like, the lobby floods. Yeah. And we just have to bag up. Bag up. Bag up, baby. Just got to take Wrap it up. literal bags to your door. So like the weird inch that there's between the door oh, and yeah. the floor. I don't know. Yeah, well, you got to bag it up. It doesn't get in at all, though. No, it really doesn't. Those are strong bags. So, whatever. Shout out to those bags. So glad you really make great bags. Yeah. And? Thanks for doing that. Are they scented? Oh, never. I would never Literally do that. Never. That would be playing myself so hard. I hate scented trash bags. They don't smell good. No, you know what I saw the other day? It's the, pink Febreze, ones? it's the Febreze fish syndrome. It's the Febreze syndrome. fish syndrome. Oh, people are so <laughs> stupid. Um... And by stupid, I mean, I mean, the people that are stupid are like the, the bag developers that are like, yeah. people like this, right? The people at Big Garbage Bag, I saw, idiots. I saw a package of Big Garbage Bags that were pink oh. and they were cherry blossom. Oh, God. Horrendous. Beautiful people this time of year. cherry blossoms, not on their fucking garbage. You, they you smell, ruin the smell, they smell of like cherry things. blossoms? Yeah. But like, that's what those bags do. They ruin the smell of things like lilac where it's like this bag smells like lilac oh it does no it doesn't no that's one of my that favorite like- things you say lilac everyone says lilac no one says lilac it's lilac it's not lilac it's literally lilac but it's fine you I'm know not- diane that'll be the new okay that's fine. gonna be diane's poll <laughs> diane's <laughs> enormous poll is it lilac or lilac it's lilac it's literally not i know but but it i mean it's definitely you. an a there i can't it's, like, it's, it's not an o I can see that. <laughs> I can spell lilac, but I'm never going to say lilac. <laughs> I mean, like. <laughs> okay. Is that what I sound like when I speak? <laughs> no. Lilac. It's how I would okay, sound like if you, I said it. You sound like lilac. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> if I say, if I say lilac, does it sound normal to you? No, because you're, saying, you're saying it weird. Lilac. You're so- yeah, that's it normal. sounds awful. No, that's I hate the way it sounds. Okay, when I well, say it, it sounds crazy. Lilac. Lilac. Li- li- <laughs> Whatever. That's what you sound like. Not even my mom says lilac. Well, and she's yeah, from like, it's... you were from the same state. You were both born in the same state. How yeah, is that possible? She's up top. They sure. say they say things. You know funky what? You're right. Top. You're right. She, they do say things Western, funky. Up top. Okay, you're right. Um, funky up top. It's... My name is Helen. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Julia's mom, and and also Diane. Mm-hmm. funky up top funky up top for sure okay my bad boy on the block Please. couldn't be more different um nick lachey posted a tiktok of him singing this wow Hal- of him singing this halsey song okay this is random this is not what i expected at all also take out my mom's last name i don't know why okay. helen okay i'm gonna play it ready Please. oh i thought you were gonna send me it for some reason no What? Okay. Okay. You know when you're like scanning someone's social media to see like, is there something up with them like right now? Are they like single, like recently single? Like what's their deal? Yeah. he's Is he recently single? What's his deal? The comments are so funny. Somebody said, the guy at the party who starts singing Wonderwall vibes. <laughs> What is this deal? Okay. Um, someone said it's giving lukewarm 78 degrees. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Which is so true. That's hilarious. Um, wow. Also, he's like weirdly. He on, wow. Are they on divorce watch? We didn't even realize. I hope so. Holy also, shit. he's like weirdly like thrusting in the video. Unless we the- did say that. Can some, if, if a sleuth out there can figure out whether or not we said that they were on divorce watch, please let us know. Um, we'll definitely. Oh post no, this I think we more. did said that. Like, if they ever did get a divorce, they should televise it. Oh yeah, they got to televise it. Wow, can you okay, imagine? Wait, let me fast forward to the end. Nick and Vanessa's part. divorce, twenty twenty four. I think they're gonna get a divorce for sure. Do you watch? Wait, this part. 
Anyway, he looks horrible. And he says, I used to do something called Music Monday where I drop weekly, oops, where I drop weekly covers. Should I bring it back to TikTok? Did you comment no? I commented, I'm going to kill myself if you do. No, but he's like right in front of like a diehard poster. <laughs> Can I see like, this? I just want to. Well, okay. Let me do some more judgment here. Oh, I guess there's a wedding photo in the background, but you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. But that doesn't mean like. Doesn't mean shit. You have to be married in order to get divorced. How do you feel about his. Um, I'm going to just screenshot shirt? this exact moment right here. Oh, yeah. He's really straining. Please say that to me later. He looks like he's straining, but also like his knees are bursting. Oh, his knees are bursting out of his pre-ripped jeans. It's just these pre-ripped bursting little knees. Um, we'll put those pre-ripped bursted little knees in a slimer. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Very um, sexy. It's what Nick Lachey deserves. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it made me rethink a lot of things, you know? Hmm. Like, hmm. should I like block him? <laughs> um i'm thinking about it no it's really bad uh um, vanessa what's happening over vanessa, there vanessa tell okay? him not to bring back weekly covers i think that maybe he like maybe she's busy or she, something yeah, he's, and, lonely. Like, he's lonely he's, he's like, lonely he like doesn't have enough to do um that's sad it's really sad did you watch the newlyweds no what with is that? that show that was out with him when him and jessica simpson got married oh certainly not no no yeah i, I do remember that, that yeah though so. I feel like the internet Feelings. is now like having the uh, Britney Spears realization with Jessica Simpson where everyone was really mean to her. Oh, really? But do you remember when she put out that weird, and I say, I feel like I've talked about this. I definitely have because I've had to Google this before, that like body lotion that she's made that like was like lickable that you were like oh, meant to like eat yeah. off your body. That was so strange. What a strange time. Maybe for I'm biased because my suitcase is Jessica Simpson brand. Um, so she could do no wrong in my eyes. Wow. Retail queen, Jessica Simpson. <laughs> I mean, it's I have no problems with Jessica Simpson. I don't know. I don't, if I've ever made fun of her, literally sorry. I don't think I, I have. I mean, the suitcase is very much Ross Dress for Less. Oh, like, yeah. literally. Um, and the inner zipper is just Busted? positively disintegrated at this oh, point because no. I've used it more than twice. Oh, my God. Um, but anyway, I love your products, Jessica. <laughs> but Jessica, send us a free uh, suitcase. I would love a new suitcase because, as I mentioned, mine is not doing What if well. it played Jessica Simpson's music, but it was free? But like every time it bounced or something, it would be, before I hit the ground. Oh. Is that one of her songs? Da -da 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 -da. I don't know why yeah. that... It's crazy. What's that song? That's the one. It was in a commercial. With you. With you. Oh, yeah. That's the yeah. song. Holy yeah. shit. When you, oh, when you unthaw and you remember something. Oh, yeah. It's De been 24 I'm years. I'm defrosting Jessica Simpson in my head right now. Oh, dear. Um, what a gal. These boots okay. are made for walking when you think about it. When you really think about it, Jessica Simpson? Um, Perfect woman. Only like one and a half bad boy updates. Unless you have another bad boy on the block. One more question. Absolutely. Will Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey get back together? What is Nick Lachey salad? Have we talked about it yet already? I don't think they're going to get back together. Wait, what is Nick Lachey's I think they salad? will get back together when they're 60 years old. Oh. And his salad Oh, is... Nick Lachey's salad. I thought you said, what does he sell? What does he What does he sell? And I selling? was like, I don't know. Does he have like a aftershave or something? Certainly not. Yeah. Um, he's on aftershave watch. He's a bit on aftershave watch. I feel like though his uh, salad is, he seems like a bit of like a very health conscious dude. Like, I know. He's like a celery king or something. Oh, he has mm. like a celery salad? Yeah, like celery heavy. It's he's like, like, actually celery is the new lettuce. And you're like, it's mm, like a it's chopped salad, lettuce. but everything is celery. Everything's celery. Everything's chopped also in the shape Except of Except there is bacon bits, but everything else is celery. And they're vegan. But yeah, of whatever. course. They're impossible bacon bits. They're impossible bacon <laughs> bits. <laughs> um, okay, the two quick little updates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you listen to Ben Shapiro's uh, rap song? what no he has a song it was like number one on itunes for a bit but this was like right before the um fuck? megan the stallion and Nicki minaj were like beefing so his number one spot was quickly taken over but he has like a what is this fucking world wackadoodle song called facts okay and it's exactly what you'd imagine we don't need to play it um it's quite bad and i mean it's not good it's that not sucks. good Ugh, um ben. and listen like it's like when he's rapping, it's just like his voice rapping. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, I got the facts. And then my, my pockets oh, are stacked. Fuck. It's a yarmulke. Like, there's a line of it. What the It's hell? a yarmulke. I say no cap. I don't know. There's something about a yarmulke. Oh, no, 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 no. 
People are so weird. Um, oh no, it's 2024. Ugh, I get it. I see. It's a political thing, it's a isn't political. it? Why is he trying to He's be like, cool? All the woke Karens in my comments. I'm like, you're such a loser, though. Oh no. Well, like, the graphs to be cool, you know. I know, I know. That's fine. And then the second update: Danny Masterson has been moved to a maximum security California state prison that once held Charles Manson brothers, brothers in crime, brothers in cult. Because it's Danny Masterson and Charles Mann. So on, but also like, think about it. they kind of look like each other in a way. Same frizzy. hair. They're yeah, both frizzy, frizzy guys. Vibe. Frizzy boys. Frizzy boys on the block. Could have used a little bit of that oil. Oh, yeah. They maybe definitely could have blown dry a little differently. Jojoba oil. Jojoba <laughs> oil. You know, I have a lot of, I have very curly hair. I'm not sure if you know that. Maximum security. Know. That's not good. That's not good for curly hair. <laughs> I'll tell you that. If I were in prison, my hair would look like shit. I mean, it, it would positively frizz out. Or honestly, maybe the best it ever looked. Who knows? Because okay. I wouldn't be able to do anything to it. I know. So maybe in its natural state, it would be absolutely stunning. There's only one way to find Lilac. It. Lilac. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, that's the Danny Masterson. Women, will you please He's in maximum security prison. I didn't realize person. he was going to go to maximum security. I want a divorce. <laughs> Okay. Wait, so That's wait, do Bijou. We, speaking of. Yeah. Did we ever get the Bijou update? Do they love each other? Is this like was that like a fake divorce or whatever? Do you watch? Um There's a lot of D watch in the air. There's me. a lot of D watch in the air. I don't think it was a fake. I mean, Celebrity breakups of twenty twenty four. Rachel Lindsay? Who's that again? She was she a was bachelorette? The bachelorette. Oh right. Yeah. Jason Momoa, I f- forgot about that. The oh, big Momoa divorce. The big all. Momoa divorce. Can you imagine I being saw... Jason, the hottest man on earth, and also the fittest, and like getting divorced. And, and also, like, I saw Lenny Kravitz mention that they're still friends. All right, all right. That was my biggest Lenny. <laughs> that was a perfect Lenny. Sometimes, collectively in my household, with also Francis. Francis also gets a song in his head. Of course, Carlos and I get this song in our head. I don't even know what it's called. America Woman. No, that's not the oh, one. Okay, it's the it's the one where it's like so many tears we cry. Oh yeah. I went, oh, you know why? Because it plays in Albertsons. I swear to God, almost every time we're in there. Wow, that's such a bop dun, for Albertsons. Dun, 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 dun. And it's like I just kind of want to find their Instagram and be like can you play a different song just never play the song <laughs> it always, I mean, it's like it's a real eight day earworm I don't oh, sure Lenny you make beautiful music Lenny if you're listening come on the pod I want to borrow the, a scarf <laughs> I want to, aka your penis my name is Zoe Klein. oh absolutely oh, my name is Diane my name is Diane and those and leather she pants. wants to use your penis as a scarf <laughs> <laughs> my name is Diane and she wants to wear those leather pants she you does know oh god she would buy those off of eBay for sure off of that body she'd be like my cap though 150 <laughs> Yeah, she wouldn't pay more than one fifty for it. She's a practical woman. What is she an idiot? Um, she has so much embroidery floss to buy, so oh, she can't man. be bothered. All right, let's move on to our bad boy of the of the week. This is a, such a rando for us. It's so rando, but yet it's kind of like so another topical. Yeah, nineties Aussie prince. Yeah, he's a nineties Aussie prince. He's incredibly rich. Um, oh, he's oh, a Mister Smack Down Your Gal. Oh, I mean, yeah. that sounds actually a, worse than. A, na- yeah, you're right. He's well, a, no, he's pretty bad. He's um, really bad. Not like that, but like in a different way. But also, like he's a bit of a raw dog on your. <laughs> he's a bit he's, of a raw. Like, he's show a Mister raw. raw Your Gal. He's a Mister Raw, um, and I fucking. He's hate a it. bit of a ring, a ring around the rosy. Oh, your Jesus. Uh, WWE Championship. I want a divorce. <laughs> It's Vince McMahon, but also, that's how you pronounce it? Yeah. <laughs> Vince <saying>. McLylock. <laughs> um, no, Vince McMahon. Irish but it's people, spelled Vince, you are hilarious. <laughs> it's spelled Vince McMahon. Mahon. It's so confusing, but like, yeah. Also, Linda, Ma- Linda McMahon, huge Trump administration official. Widely. I mean, not huge. Literally like, like small business bureau lady barely huge like the smallest trump trumper of the trumpets but it's like i forget if she was always politically she it i read it she said that she ran for senate or something my only memory of her is that fucking clip that i was talking about earlier obsessed with this clip it's just so like he has played like but vince mcmahon has put himself in so many like he has written himself into so many of these strange roles. Like he writes himself into this. He does it. He's done this. I had no idea you were like so into WWE. It's not me. It's my brother. My brother loved wrestling. Growing I up. Put, yeah. 
Like he so would, you would watch it. I mean, I, he dominated the fucking TV. It was oh, always on. Lydia. It was such a fucking struggle. It was me making fun. Like this is how our household worked. My mom made fun of my TV if yeah. she wanted to watch TV. Sure. I made fun of his TV. He that's made fun of right. our. That's just how you got the that's TV. How it goes. That's just how it goes. That's what TV is. So I would just be like, oh, watching your soap opera for boys. Like that on. is what it is. It's pretty rude though. Like when you think about it, kind of rude thing to say. But like um, it kind of was. Well, the stories are very out there. They're so dumb. And like Vince was writing himself into all these pervy ones. That wasn't the only pervy one. I forget who else he's like tried to fuck basically. Yeah, this was one where I don't know, for some reason his wife was in a wheelchair. You there was a backstory she, there. The backstory I don't even remember, except for like she was like paralyzed and couldn't do anything. But then like he just makes out with Trish Stratus, I think Canadian queen. Oh, there are a lot of Canadian wrestlers. Okay. Actually, I think Chris Jericho, who is married to his son. No, daughter. what am I saying? Daughter is uh Canadian too, I think. Wow. Lots of, lots of Canadians. Or okay. no, that's not Jericho. That's Triple H. Wow. Yeah, why triple, you know why so, do I know you so know, much? I don't know any of these ding dongs. I don't, you, but like, like, I don't know. I would guess Triple H is a wrestler because who else would it be? Um, but when you were like, oh my God, his daughter is married to Triple H. I was like, oh my God. My what? brother would literally like call these like wrestling lines or whatever and just like listen to shit. But like rewatching this stuff, I was actually laughing out loud because I was like, this is so fucking and you, stupid. you do remember watching it? I remember. Oh yeah, my god! The storylines so are really wild. Dumb. They used to do this wrestling move where they would press the guy's uh, face into this like big dude's butt. <laughs> Iconic. Like just like and I shake it his around. Name. Yeah, and like the guy would they, they would like just put it right into his ass. But like I don't know. Also, the dark side of wrestling, which is like you know everybody gets addicted to pain pills because they're doing stunts. Yeah. And like it's fake, but like But the, like you're still like smash smashing your body against the ground. Cutting themselves. Yeah. Like they're doing all kinds of shit. That's real blood in some cases. Like yeah. they were I don't know. So wrestling's nasty in general. But like <sighs> Vince McMahon is kind of a piece of shit. I mean not no, kind he of he is a is. huge piece of shit. But guess his net worth. Oh dear. F- uh, sixty nine million. Blah, blah, blah. Two point eight billion. Holy shit. Billion. Oh my god, he's a billionaire? Yeah. That's crazy. I saw well, put his wealthy one gorilla. Of, it looks nuts. Oh yeah, his nuts. wealthy gorilla literally looks like. Who does he look like again? You said he oh, looked he like looks Kevin like Spacey. Young Kevin Spacey. Like he, but he definitely looks young. But they got the. He butt looks chin. like an artist rendering of Kevin Spacey. But like they're being like, but that guy really like likes blonde? Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Uh yeah, but also well, he's so weird. But like he, Zoe was gushing about him earlier, saying he looks really good for a seventy-year-old man, which he does. He does like he, that doesn't change the fact that he's a hundo p a rapist. But he looks good for a seventy-eight-year-old. But he has a pin head and like these enormous shoulders. So oh, there's something going on. Smallest head I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, it said on one of the websites that I was looking at that he's like the one thousand one hundredth something most rich man. You fucking loser! Of course he would be. Um, but. Recently, um, he stepped down from his role. Uh, and it's kind of like, it's a bit of a Papa John's rising. Oh, yeah. But I mean, way worse. Oh, than I Papa bet they're front. Oh, way worse. Um, so you wait. Kind of the same energy, though. They, they would be great friends. Um, yeah. So he resigned from his executive petition position at TKO Group Holdings, which I don't know what that is. I guess it's like whatever owns WWE mm-hmm. and WWE um, because of a lawsuit that was filed by somebody who used to work for WWE, an employee named Janelle Grant. Um, and he is currently under federal investigation surrounding sex trafficking allegations. Well, I mean, didn't expect that. Yeah. I mean, it's like you half expected it, but you also are just like, well, okay. Um, So this employee, Janelle Grant, says that she was offered $3 million to keep her alleged relationship with McMahon quiet um, and filed a lawsuit like two weeks ago, I think, alleging he pushed her to have a sexual relationship with him and shared explicit photos of her her with fellow employees and wrestlers. The lawsuit also says that he trafficked her to others within the organization and sexually assaulted her. Wow. And I think one of the other higher-ups at WWE is cooperating with the investigation, which is sort of a spicy little twist. Very spicy meatball. Even though, like, I think he was also named in the lawsuit, and I'll take that out if I was wrong, but I think he was, like, at minimum complicit in the allegation. 
Interesting. So are you saying you just want to like save his own ass? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. But I I also don't doubt that Vince McMahon is the big bad here. Sure. You know? I'm sure this person... Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to speculate on their intent or whatever or like how they probably felt about it. But like, honestly, they were probably just the same kind of piece of shit. Probably just trying to save their ass. Yeah. I mean, that's really what it is. It's just like, oh no, I but acted badly. I shouldn't have looked at someone's nude photo that I didn't know. As is always the case. This is not the I first. should have stepped up and said something. I'm sure this he is, wasn't a whistleblower. This or is, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, this is not Vince's first run-in with a sexual assault allegation. No. In 1992, Rita Chatter- Chatterton, a former referee who was known as Rita Marie in the 1980s. Do you know her? No. Um, no fucking clue. She was the first female ref- referee in the WWF and possibly the first female referee in professional this wrestling This feels like history. the only thing I should know about wrestling, actually, unfortunately. It's about but Rita? I don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, I wish I knew more about Rita. And less um, about, um, you know, Triple H and... Sure. But like, The Rock came from this. Can he you did. imagine? He now did. he's like a beloved actor. He's so beloved and so ginormous. People think he's going to run for president or whatever. And Ugh, people, you know, kill me. It's just like, imagine The Rock, Governor The Rock, Rock Johnson, honestly, maybe <laughs> Governor, Governor Gavin Rock Newsom, Johnson. Governor the Rock Johnson. It's like, which is I worse. mean, he really could be Governor the Rock Johnson. Governor the Rock Johnson. My I name mean, Diane. my name she is would absolutely. Oh, campaign for campaign for him. Oh, campaign bone down with Rock Johnson. Um, okay. But in 1992, this woman said publicly on like Geraldo Rivera's show, weird man, but yes, yeah, totally a weird man. That <laughs> in 1980, so she said this five years later, but or four years later. Or six years later. Um, in 1986, McMahon tried to force her to perform oral sex on him. And when she refused, he raped her. Wow. So that's been out since 92. Um, but nothing happened. But then in December 2022. Wow. It's been open secret for a really long time. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> um, but then in December 2022, she filed a sexual abuse lawsuit against him. And he settled the lawsuit but maintain his innocence, saying that he settled to avoid the cost of litigation. Hmm. Okay, um, you have millions of billions of dollars. Yeah, so. Take him for all he's worth, baby. Um, and in October 2022, the WWE had disclosed, they did like an internal investigation, uh, that $19.6 million in re- unrecorded payments McMahon made to settle sexual misconduct claims. How many? $19.6 million. Ooh. That he used to settle sexual misconduct claims between 2006. It's just a drop in the bucket, but woo. I know. Between 2006 and 2022. That is so much, actually, but also not enough at the same time. Because I mean, it's, it's like, like so much, but you have no idea how many people there are. So like, many people and like so much trauma building over the years. That's kind of, that's really priceless. You can't really put a price tag on that. You kind of are a fucking criminal you bitch and then not kind of you are a a hundred percent then there were two incidents at the same tanning bar one in 2006 and one in 2011 it's so weirdest place but go on yeah (laughs) it's it's so first of all it's in boca raton florida this whole thing feels so florida to me this entire it's very crispy it's very Very crispy crispy and tanned and living in boca raton florida it's so boca raton um, so he was accused of sexual harassment by a worker at a tanning bar in 2006. You're gonna fucking where attack people at work. She cl- agreed. I'm where she claimed it. that he showed nude photos of himself to her and also groped her and attempted to kiss her. That's what Zoe's talking about when she says his body. She, she's giving him the confidence that he needs. Just kidding. <laughs> because <laughs> he, exactly, that's he so thinks me. his body looks so good he has to show it to fucking uh, oh, tanning God. bed assistants. And then in 2011... A separate tanning spa worker alleged that he sexually assaulted her in 2011. What and is then your filed literal a lawsuit, kink here? Then filed a lawsuit in December 2022. So it seems like this all started coming to a head in, at the end of 2022. However, he just stepped down like two weeks ago. My only um, wish is that I was working at that tanning salon so I could have just like... Chopped his dick off? Burned his face to I was a thinking crisp. more like lock him inside of them. Oh, wow. Just, oh, like, my never God. never let him out. I would love to kill him that way. Oh, my God. I mean, it's just, wow. What a thing wow. to Wow, not to be like a like... creepy bitch, but like I would absolutely murder him like that. Yeah. I mean, this is what you get away with when you have billions of dollars. It's crazy. And I'm sure, you know, the NDAs came out immediately. 
you think about all of the people who settled before coming forward. I mean, $19.6 million in payments. Well, I think he's 78 years old. And that's just like, this is And this is starting in 92, the first claim. At least that is like publicly out there. Well, she said it happened in 86. I mean, just imagine all the casual harassment that happens in his life. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like awful and and i'm sure in that 19.6 million there's some like pretty serious allegations that will never see the light of day oh, because yeah. he hushed moneyed them to bits he's a bit of a toots rising too he would absolutely oh, call he's someone such toots. a fucking toots rising and then this is unrelated to sexual assault allegations but interesting in november 93 he was indicted in a federal court after a steroid controversy engulfed the promotion and temporarily ceded control of the WWF to his wife, Linda. The case went on trial. Um, He was accused of distributing steroids to his wrestlers, but the jury acquitted him. Interesting. He Um, was... I mean, it's like... It looks like he's. It looks like he's given them to his literal self, let's be honest. It's true. Like, smallest head, biggest shoulders. Very jacked. Very jacked. Can you... He could go to jail. Um, so yeah, I never really was into wrestling, but it does not surprise me that the head of it is a fucking creepazoid. Um, I mean, and it seems like grade A creepazoid. Like, I feel like we're like, a, we're like Ronan Farrow is coming. You know what I mean? I feel like Ronan yeah. Farrow cometh with this where there's going to be like 13 women. I'm totally guessing here and I might be wrong, but I just feel like there's going to be like a Vanity Fair expose where it's like 13 women accuse vince mcmahon of the worst shit you could possibly imagine that's just the vibe i'm getting i mean like and like not that he doesn't deserve way worse than this but like i think they should all all these women should take him into um one ring and then like kick the shit out of him oh that'd be fun but then also but also the tanning have to thing. like yeah then also well maybe not the pet okay i don't want to kill him i just want people to at least get what you know they deserve I and agree. then also get paid out you know get paid out also get to maybe throw a chair on his head or something like get paid out but like i'm not talking about hush money pay- payments i'm talking about like file a fucking lawsuit against this man but yeah. get get it on public record like fuck this guy yeah i mean I, like it's I don't think about Vince McMahon in my day to day because who fucking does and but there's like, this picture of he's out um, there being a billionaire and the worst so like whatever there's this One picture of Trump maybe. and Vince McMahon's son shaving Vince's head and I don't like it oh we're gonna put that in the slime around absolutely I yeah I mean he's definitely like a Trump a doodle do like definitely a Mar-a-Lago oh, yeah. attendee like he oh he's been there he before. loves an overcooked steak at Mar-a-Lago like mm. this guy is fucking flat gray overcooked steak for he sure. loves a flat gray overcooked his steak. salad flat gray overcooked <laughs> steak romaine romaine um, and like hmm. uh blue cheese dressing but it's like been sitting in the fridge and it's separated and he didn't mix it up <laughs> <laughs> the vince mcmahon salad the vince mcmahon special wow that's um, disgusting they have it on the menu at mar-a-lago too oh, if you'd like for it for sure um, um it's a bit of a protein grotesque. explosion but it's disgusting in every way that's, yeah, I hate this man. I really wish him nothing but the worst. And yeah. I I hope that, you know, whatever is found in this investigation, which I'm sure will be enough to indict, um, I hope that he goes to jail for the rest of his days and he can hang out with Danny Masterson in Charles Manson's cell. Hmm. Except the the maximum security prison of Florida. Do you think that um, the Manson cell is haunted? No. I don't know why it would be. Oh, yeah. No. You don't really believe in ghosts. I don't. <laughs> um, but I also don't think it's haunted. Like, he's never killed somebody in his life. Oh. oh. Not I yet. Mean, not yet. Not yet. Honestly. No, he's dead. <clears throat> oh. Is he? Oh, my God. Wait, is he? He died, right? He died. Wait, what? <sighs> Let's ask Alexa. Is Charles Manson dead? I think he's dead. He has to be dead. I feel like he did. Oh. He both died and was born in November. How nice. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So he I died love in 2017. F- I love a full circle moment. I kind of do too. I, <laughs> I, for some reason, I find it very weirdly comforting when people die and were born in the same month. I'm okay. not sure why. It feels very even to me. I like even My things. name is Julia Davidovich and I desperately want to die in June. What's my deal? You know? <laughs> it's like, what's my problem? I mean, September is a fine month to die. It's a fine month to die. You know? Why not? Die Before in the, month the big born. surge of, of winter. Ugh, you gotta get it out before you winter. Got, because, like, you know, winter comes, everyone's exhausted from all the deaths. Yours is hardly a drop in the bucket. Yeah, there's so yeah. many deaths happening already. So it's a great thing that you were born in June and I was born in September so we can die in those months. Yeah, why not? I mean, mine is just right, it's just like right at the tip of, uh, Ooh, just I almost tip. said Christmas, but it's summer. Yeah, it's summer. Totally um, different. All right, Christmas in Australia, maybe. Let's shut the door on Vince. 
Um, I almost tried to do it on my phone. That wouldn't work. That wouldn't work at all. At all. What was I going to ask you? Hold on. Shut the door, baby. Don't say a word. Well, first, have they met? I don't... Oh, probably Mar-a-Lago. You think Mar... I think Mar-a-Lago, and I also just think, like, I wouldn't be surprised oh God, if yes. Mark oh. McGrath, like, did some WWE thing. For sure. I'm sure he loved wrestling. I'm sure yeah. he's had at least a few SmackDowns. Definitely. He's definitely been to a SmackDown or two. I'll try and find a picture of Mark McGrath maybe attending some I kind just of wrestling feel like event. I just feel like they've met, but it wasn't, like, a long conversation or anything. Oh, was, no. They have no idea who each other are. No, I mean, it was like, a brief, like, no... Mark knows who Vince is. You think so? Yeah. He's just like, that guy's the man. Yeah. Oh, the... yeah. He probably watches wrestling. What am I saying? Yeah. He loves his acting. But I wouldn't be surprised if Vince had no idea who Mark is. Wow. I've never, I've never considered those two meeting in person, but it makes so much sense. I think, think it just it. makes sense. Oh, God. He's such a bad man. And also like, I think he's kind of like a wannabe failed actor too, Ugh. on top of it. That doesn't surprise me given what you sent. The big sketch. Oh, God. The whole, I mean like... Oh my jeez! But you can, can you totally imagine see him how like in, how wrestlers want to become actors after doing all that shit. I mean, it makes sense. They catch the bug. It's a bit of the um, yeah. I think it was actually the the rocks probably wrote to. Or wait, actually, I feel like I watched a Finding Your Roots recently where someone said that they had started out actually as a wrestler and then became um, an actor. Now I forget who it was. John Cena. No. <laughs> Uh, maybe but he did <laughs> oh that's but funny he did. i don't fucking care about this man at all but like that is an interesting pipeline <laughs> the, the wwe because they are did. actors i mean yeah, like they are that like i don't even hate i, I don't hate wrestlers I, I don't feel anything for wrestlers They're, wrestlers as a whole it's like a fucking job as a yeah as a profession like i don't as, think you're promoting violence either i think you're actually no. kind of having a good time I, i'm very scared of like mma though mma seems a little scary also like I mean, like hockey, like no offense, Canada, very violent. Yeah. It's no, extremely it violent. Sports. So is football, like both oh, yeah. very violent you're sports. Gonna get CT, you're going to get CTE the fuck out of you on, on the football field. I'm like, sure. Wrestling is violent in its own way too. It really is. But honestly, to me, it was way, I mean, like watching it now, I'm watching it being like, I mean, if this promoted violence, fuck me up. That yeah. sucks. Like that's, this is too funny. Everything's violent. But like kids are dumb. So Life is violent. Every fucking, you know what everything I mean? Everything is. Um, all right. Well, who's your good boy? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> you're going to hate it. Facebook feline diabetes group. Oh my God. I do literally, hate it. no, you do hate it. But if you have a diabetic cat, I don't, I but... swear to God, the vets know nothing. It's uh, now I sound crazy. I really do. But like, just well, go to fucking Facebook. Literally I mean, <laughs> go to Facebook. <laughs> get find the your, fucking community. I'm Julia Davidovich. Get your medical advice from Facebook for, for your, your cat. Ca- no, for yeah, cat. for your cat, and like get it from um, you know, fifteen to thirty thousand. Um, I don't even know how many people there That's are. That's a lot group. of feline obedience. No, I, I mean, I don't know how many admin there are in there, but like of the uh, admin, mm-hmm. a lot of smart people. Are there, in there. a lot of rules? I don't fucking know. Probably. I feel like some subreddits. I mean, like, it, to me, it's like the same thing oh, as a subreddit. Oh, yeah, there are. But, like, I'm not really an active subredditor. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, um, <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it, when I lurk, I do see people and, like, the rules or whatever. I'm just yeah. like, oh, yeah, again, so another stupid. place I'm not going like, to spend a lot of time because I'm not going to Some places are so rules. stupid about the rules. Oh, fuck like, off on like the drag race subreddit it's like they're like weirdly sticklers about certain things where you like can only post memes on certain days of the week and i'm like oh, everyone God. needs to relax this is that the kind internet. of shit yeah i mean i don't know i'm sure that the mods and the admins are just you know all over that kind of shit but yeah this is more like i think people just trying to i mean again i think diabetes is a specialized thing for humans like it's literally specialized so you would mm-hmm. go to a you you at least with my mom and my dad both yep. prolific diabetics. Oh, I was going to say. Um, <laughs> best in their field. Best in your field. Um, they both saw specialists when they got diagnosed. So, I mean, oh, like, why yeah. else would you not see a specialist? It just doesn't make sense. Because, like, not every doctor knows what to do. So, every doctor is just going to be like, yeah, I don't know. Do some with this. And then when you go in the Facebook group, they're like, no, you should really just, like... I mean, they teach you how to use a glucometer and shit. Like, I know. Now you're like the vet just wants you to cat's fucking cat's blood all the time. I'm drawing my cat's blood. I'm giving him injections. It's I know, pretty you're, fun. Okay, you're becoming a bit of a freak about it. I'm a you're little into doctor. it. No. You're, wait, are you gonna get your nursing degree? Ooh, should I? I don't know. Should I fall back on being a nurse? 
<laughs> oh, nurse fallback. Wow, extra I can't extra really fallback? imagine you as a nurse. No offense. Okay. No, I like don't think I have. Being on your feet that long. Nurses are interesting people. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. Um, they're... Being on my feet that long, I could, but at the same time, I don't want to. Yeah, that's the thing is I don't want to. I got... And working overnight, not I have for to me. like improve my core before I spend that much time on my feet, let's be that's honest. That's completely fair. Um, do I have a good boy this week? Let me think. Hmm. Tell Let us about it. me think for a moment. Oh, I also make a, made a very good galette last week. Oh, yes. You sent me a picture of your galette. The onion one was much better than the tomato. It tomato, you're bit. right. Too wet. Too wet. It's too hard. Wet. That's why it's not, not good, but it's not good. tomatoes and omelets. You're Way so too wet. right. It's just, I mean, sun-dried tomatoes you could do if you like sun-dried tomatoes. I just don't. I really don't. Yeah. And I lo- I'm a big tomato gal. Sun-dried tomatoes, I'm like, get these shits out of but here. But you could also bake the galette so and then put the tomatoes on top after you, you bake could. it. You could. Or like a nice arug. You could do like, you could make the galette with like pesto and mozzarella. Oh, shit. Now I'm hungry. Oh, my God. I might and make then, a galette tonight. And then you I can have put, pine nuts and basil. Yeah. And then you could put, <gasps> after it's out of the oven, you could put tomato and arug on it. Could I make fucking... Can I make fucking pesto tonight? You can make some fucking pesto. Can I make some rainy day pesto? No, I don't actually. That's okay. Do you have Parmesan cheese? Yes. I want okay. garlic though. Yeah, Maybe you I'll do. Maybe make a pesto tomorrow. You do sort of need garlic. Fucking shit. Um, well, that's exciting oh, for I'm you. I'm starving now. Um, yeah, we could put your galettes in Slimer. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, your onion galette looked better than the tomato one. It looked good. It was much more planned than the yeah. tomato one. Tomato, yeah. tomato was just an afterthought. But it lo- they both looked good. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That's a good boy. I don't really have a good boy, honestly. I mean... <sighs> love this rain. You don't love the pitter-patter of the rain? Outside? I don't love the pitter-patter of the rain. Are you over your migraine from last week? I'm over my... That was a bad boy. Last week's bad boy. Um, oh, yeah. That's why we didn't record Diane's migraine. Um, yeah, I guess that was a bad boy. Oh, yeah. I guess so when you really think about but it. But I'd rather oh, talk about um, Nick Lachey. <laughs> and then... The real bad boy. Oh, picture yeah. Picture of you. I love your slippers, by the way. Oh, thank you. My sister-in-law got me them for Christmas. Really? Danielle. Good job, Danielle. Oh. Um. <laughs> I forgot that was there. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I don't really have a good boy. That's fine. Um, okay, TV talk. Oh. TV talk. We did it, everybody. This is such a creaky bitch. Creak, creak. Not me. I'm in the most perfect chair of all. Where is this from, by the way? I think Target. What if I got the same chair as you? Creepy or weird? Wouldn't bother me. Um, it would surprise me if it was still available because I got that like five years ago and I feel like, you know, they're going to change. They're like, their we cha- have one left. It's been waiting for you <laughs> they have, this like, whole time. They change their chairs up all the time. You know what I mean? They cha- they are constantly chasing, changing so their chairs So I would up. be surprised if it existed, but it would not bother me. Honestly, probably on um like a Facebook marketplace or the oh, offer for, up or yeah, whatever. Yeah, you can get on Facebook marketplace. Probably just like, hey guys, I got this from Target five years ago. That's exactly what and you I'm need. I'm finally willing to part with it even though I love it so much. $35 OBO. OBO. Beep, beep, beep. Must have owned van. Oh, I do have a good boy, actually. Can yeah. you imagine? <gasps> what? So late, um, late bringing bad boy or good late, boy. Late bringing good boy. So I was like, it's a bit of a leggings. I got leggings. You got leggings? I got leggings. Bitch. I don't know why. I was just like Who inspired to get leggings. Interesting. They were on sale. Let's be honest. That's why. From Airy. Airy. You know, American Eagles I do. undie line. I do. They were... I could never fit my tits in their teeny tiny adorable oh, little bra. Sure. They but were really cute though. They were all the rage. They are cute. Um, but the leggings, they're like called the outlier, outline, highline, outlier. I don't know. Curious. Something like that. Something with a line and an out or a high or something. And they're very comfortable. Are like, they like a high rise? They're a high rise. Deal. I think you can... I mean like... I mean, at least for me and my body shape. Yeah, Mama needs a high rise. Yeah, no, these ma- Mama needs a high rise as well, and they are high rise, and they're incredibly comfortable. And I've been should, I pay, should we find some low rise examples of our childhood? Because very embarrassing. I'll have to log back onto Facebook for that, but I can try. Oof. If I can find some low rise examples, I've got a really bad one. Okay. Okay. I th- you know what I I can find one. Mama's got some hips, and they do not lie. They do not so. lie, especially when it comes to low rise jeans. Anyway, TV talk. Um, TV, TV talk. talk. I am watching the newest season of The Bachelor. I can't explain why. Okay. You said there were a lot of Canadians on it. A lot of Canadians on it. And the guy is pretty hot. Oh. Joey. Oh, we'll put the hot guy in the slimer. Yeah, he's Is a he cute... really hot? Is he like someone I would find hot or what? I'm looking him up. Look him up. I mean, I think he's just like a good looking guy. Like he's sort of approachable hot, which is. Approachable hot. Oh, <laughs> when I make that face, it's, this is like. He's okay. cute. 
This is um. He's like a cute guy. But when you see this person yeah. from across, this is him, right? Yeah, that's him. This is like you're at a wedding, and like this is like the person who didn't come with a date. Oh yeah, and they're like trying to talk to you yeah. the whole time, and you're just yeah. like, oh, okay, he, yeah, I'll that's talk actually to you. Like a weird person who probably won't kill like, me. He's actually kind of cuter than that. I do. He looks, um, what's the word? Uh, approachable is a good word. Yeah, he looks like he has kind eyes. Like he, kind eyes. Yeah. You can really tell. Vince McMahon? Evil eyes. Eyes of a psycho. <laughs> eyes of a true sociopath. Um, so I am watching that. There's also a new season of Next Level Chef. What I don't know that? if you ever watched that ever show. Seen in my life. Um, this is a Gordon Ramsay cooking show where there's like a platform. Have I never talked about this? No. What? Maybe you have. My um, brother loves Gordon Ramsay. I'm going to ask him if he's watched this. Um, yeah, so it's a cooking show where there are three levels. There's a basement, a middle level, and a top level. What? And the basement kitchen has like like all of the strainers have holes in it. There's no blenders. Like the pans are uneven. How did they convince him to do the this? Does he need are dull. money? Um, well, it's a competition show. He's not in it. Like he's a host. No, I know. But I mean, how did they convince him to do this show? I feel like it was his idea. You think so? Well, I don't know. It's in. It's under like Studio Ramsay. Like it's... Sure. Yeah. Okay, I don't whatever. think he needs money. I think he wants money. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. And... Where is this? What? what it's on Hulu, but it's Hulu. on Fox. Fox. I have cable. Oh, brag alert. Um, it's pretty hard to explain, but basically there's a top level, middle level, and a bottom level. And the top level has like top of the line equipment. The bottom level has like shit that you would find at like a jail kitchen. And then there's a platform that goes between the levels. It starts on the top and goes to the bottom wow. that has ingredients on it. Oh, wow. And the contestants have to run and they have like 30 seconds to pick the ingredients off of the platform before it goes down to the next level. So all of the good things are taken at the top and all of the shit is left at the bottom. That is the craziest concept. It's literally makes no sense, but it's so weird. Um, but right now it's just the beginning. It's like the tryout phase. So it's a little bit different from like what the normal episodes are. Interesting. Um, and they're home chefs, they're social media chefs, and they're professional chefs. And they all compete against each other. Unbelievable. It's literally so chaotic. But it's, it's so strange. It's very weird. I mean, it, it, and I find it strange for him too, where it's just like, this is your show? <laughs> That's a show. <laughs> and like Richard Blaze is also on it. Who's Richard Blaze again? Who's Richard Blaze? He's a professional chef who's like, oh, hmm. and um, Aisha, I forget her last name. Um, hmm. She's the most normal out of the three. Like Gordon's wacky. And like, they all like have teams. It's like, it's, there's a lot going on. Oh my God. They like threw everything Reality at the shows wall. shows are getting so much weirder and so much weirder. I we're going to hit a, we're going to hit a bubble. Like we started with Top Chef and somehow now we're here. The bubble's going to pop. It's just like, you know. There's enough competition out there. I feel like I'm not watching anything new except for like the fucking True Detective shit. Oh yeah, I don't um, like it. <laughs> it's not I'm good. I'm so over it. I'm Jody, so what it. happened? Why I'm did like, they put is, you in this? this unfortunately, I'm bored. Unfortunately, I'm bored, but I'm still watching it. I'm, I'm still watching it, through. but like I'm like I can't. Um, I'm watching the new 90 Day Fiance. It's not even new. It's just I just noticed it was on there. I've been ignoring it for four weeks. Wow. And it's like it's it's the it's the it's a fucking type where. What's it called? Diaries. 90 oh. DF Diaries where oh, it's, it's like, like even couples. worse. Former couples. And they're like, here's our life now. But it's all user shot. So like they're doing the oh, shooting. It's Kill terrible. me. Why would you watch that? It's just because it's so funny. Because you're just like, oh God, now. And then they'll be like, and now our, like the brother of someone on the show is now meeting someone else. And you're like, okay. Mm. And they're not even from a different country. So, mm. like, there's no kind of tie-in with 90 Day Fiancé. It's just, like, some racist member of your family is trying to marry someone now. Oh, yeah. It's boring. It's so stupid. Um, And then I've also watched two kind of lackluster episodes of Law & Order SVU in the last two weeks. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. It's a lack. Wait. This, so, is the okay. blow-up doll a running story? It's a running story, all right. <sighs> Olivia is haunted by the disappearance of this blow-up doll girl. That's so awful. But I got to say, Law & Order Organized Crime the Elliot. star the real star here Elliot is pretty good shining bright of he's course. someone who's really had such a storied interesting career such and a, a lot of range in. and oh, still hot still hot still fuckable Fair. I mean he was on Veep my favorite show of all time so I can't you know he got to smooch Julia Louis-Dreyfus so that's exciting for me his character on them was very funny so funny um, yeah he really does it all <laughs> actually that was a really good character Ugh, I forgot he was even on that yeah 
God, he really yeah, does it all. He's got a lot of. He's got. He's, he's got so range. funny. He's so funny. You Chris, really light up when you think I, about him. The so. thing is, like, you've had a crush. He's I've like had, your long-standing crush. Actually. I mean, him and Eminem. Wow, two I mean, bad <laughs> two, boys, two for icons, sure. um, <laughs> two icons of the screen, of the screen, um, yes. and my heart. Oh, um, do you have any other TV talks? You would absolutely divorce a uh, Jer if what's his face was just like Zoe Will Christopher you marry Maloney. Me? Yeah. Oh, if Christopher Maloney just like walked I'm in the door one day and like out of here. Yeah, he's just but like he's really in me. love with his wife. That's beautiful. I mean, but he hasn't met me yet. You're right. So, so meet Zoe first. Listening, um, I would never say you're a bad boy, Chris. Except like in the bedroom. No. Oh my God. Clink a doodle doo. Sorry, everybody. Okay. What if you found out he was the worst person ever? That would ruin everything. I would be really, really. You would really be an apologist though. You'd be like, maybe he was just having a bad day. I would be like, separate the art from the artist. <laughs> he was so good in Wet Hot American Summer. Like, I'm still watching um, it. Okay. Well. Email Diana at badboypod.com. Your bad boys on the block. Your good boys. Follow yeah. us at, bad boy, at, bleh, at bad boy Podcast on Instagram. Uh, your cat's glucose levels. Yeah, please if you nasty. DM Diane your cat's glucose levels. She's obsessed. And because she's like, she just like sharing her own. Yeah. You know? Yeah, she puts her she's own not glucose even levels in the feline diabetes group. She pretends she's a cat. She's really, she has her own like Munchausen thing, but like oh, Munchausen with by herself. <laughs> <laughs> and she's pretending uh, that her cat is diabetes, but it's really her. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's just, um, uh, yeah. She's shop that bad boy pod. Dot com for a shirt. I think that's it, right? Mm-hmm. Leave us a five star review. Subscribe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Listen. We love it. Have a huge binge. Have a huge binge. See if huge I care. Binge. Sure. Why not? Um, and live every day like it's going to rain the whole fucking day for five Live every days. day like Mi- Vince McMahon is going to jail for life. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like we don't even like jail, but that guy? That guy, he can go. He can go to jail. He Why can not? go to jail. Brought to you by Lady Parts.